Good morning, traders. How are we? Uh, today is Wednesday, the 24th of May. And as always, we're going to look back at yesterday's trades. We're going to look at today's potential trades. And we're going to look at the important news for today as well. Um, so let's not mess around. Let's get started. Uh, let's start with yesterday's trades. And let's let's start with this one, New Zealand dollar against the Canadian dollar. Because I've been talking to everyone about this trade who will listen that it's coming down, yeah? Um, and it finally did, guys. It finally came down. So why did I expect it to come down? Because of structure, because of trend, okay? So price was clearly in an uptrend to start with. Didn't make higher highs. And then when we got this breakdown of these lows, at this point, I'm looking for shorts, yeah, I'm looking for shorts here. 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 And eventually, you know, we get the shorts kick in. Yeah, sellers start to come back into the market. Um, so, yeah, I was always with structure. It was always a downtrend. And this was lower highs, you know, lower lows. We were always in a downtrend. So that gave me the confidence to keep looking for shorts, guys. Um, and eventually you can see, look, sellers took over yesterday. Okay. Um, but I also like this wick, yeah, that bounced off of this area of resistance. So for all these reasons, yeah, we were shorting this pair. If we drop down to the H1 now, um, okay, this is a little bit of uh, New Zealand interest rate news this morning. Okay, so we're going to zoom out so you can't see that. So we can zoom in a bit. Um, and basically, guys, on the H1, all I'm looking for is a breakdown in structure, okay? And that's what we get. So price comes up, yeah, starts building up, gets back to these highs over here, and then no surprise, it starts, you know, coming back down. And this level through here became the important level for me, okay? When we got a break with this candle here, yeah, I entered this trade. I got a slight retrace, entered here, put my stop above here, and then this H1 structure just followed down, guys. Um, and I put this entry in the VIP Discord, guys. So if you're interested in getting my trade ideas exactly when they happen every day, um, then come join our VIP Discord. We also have free Discord, which you can join, um, and VIP Discord you have to pay for. Um, but yeah, that was the trade. Yeah, and we took it back down. Um, yeah, and got our risk to reward of one is to one roughly down here. And then I just hope you let 20% run, guys. Yeah, because if we zoom, if we go across now, look, if you'd let 20% run, I know it's news driven, but still you can let 20% run, even if you move your stop to break even. Um, and if I... Oh, still drawing lines. Um, and if I move this across slightly, guys, yeah? And even if you missed this entry, yeah? There were lots of entries, yeah? This entry was good, yeah? Because it broke this area here, okay? This was a good entry. When price retraces, this was a good entry. Could enter here, put your stop above here, or enter here, you know? The, the, there were lots of good entries on this pair to take it back down. Okay, um, yeah, great trade, guys. We had to be patient with this one and wait for it to come down, but come down it did. Um, and we were just looking at a lot of um, CAD pairs. I mean, that's the one I traded, but if we look at the others as well. So we had Euro CAD. Yeah, so again, this was uh, just following day structure. Yeah, come down, lower lows, lower highs, lower lows, lower highs. This was a good area of um, resistance. And then price, we just wanted to see price bounce off there and come back down to these lows. And as you can see, guys, that's exactly what happened. If we drop down to the H1, could we enter this pair? I was, you know, like I say, I was heavily uh, trading New Zealand dollar, Canadian dollar. Um, but this, again, gave you a setup. It was about this level for me, yeah? soon as we broke it, you know, when it breaks, it's difficult to get into this pair because arguably our target's here. We've got no risk to reward. But then price comes back up, tests 
this level, you could enter straight away on this level. Yeah, because we've got our entry candle here. Yeah, so you could enter straight away at this level and come back down. I mean, even if you don't enter straight away, look, you do get a very bearish reaction at that level. And you could take that down instead. Okay, but again, yeah, CAD came down, couple of opportunities here. We also looked at pound Canadian dollar. Um, this was a little trickier to trade, if I remember rightly. Um, so let's start with the day chart. Yeah, similar scenario to EuroCAD. We were in an uptrend. Price started breaking down in no man's land, but then broke. Come back up to a good area of resistance, and we're just looking to take it lower. It's not rocket science, guys. It's simple market structure combined with support and resistance and candlesticks, really. I look at candlesticks. Next, if you look at these wicks, they are rejecting that level here. Okay, if we drop down to the H1, yeah, this one was difficult to trade because we had all this. Look at all of these wicks. Yeah, so we can't really trade this until we get a break of these wicks. And then when we did get a break, it was already at these lows. So there was no value. So there was no trade there for me on pound Canadian dollar. Um, what else were we looking at? There were lots of trades yesterday. Uh, yeah, and the two US dollar pairs, guys. So we had Aussie dollar, US dollar. We were shorting this from over here. I was already in this trade, guys. I was shorting this from over here. Um, but yeah, came down nicely, guys. Yeah, so again, we just want to let's look at the day chart. Let's keep some structure here. Some, um, yeah, let's look, start with the day chart. Okay, so. We were seeing a bit of a range, guys. We still are. Yeah, price is ultimately ranging between these two levels. All right. And, yeah, and there's more. There's more reasons. Price was in a downtrend, yeah, trying to come back lower. So we were just trying to take price back down to this uh, area of support. And again, that's exactly what happened. If we look at the H1, where do we get in? Like I started with, guys. Yeah, I've been shorting from here and here. Uh, I've had a couple of entries. And we were just trying to follow this H1 structure down, but it built up. Okay, so, we, you know, we're getting a little bit concerned here that H1 structure was building up. But then it just came crashing down with this, with this candle here. So you could have entered on this candle, guys. Yeah entered on this candle you know put your stop above here or even here um and then take price back down to these lows yeah it would have been a good trade guys um so yeah i was in this trade yeah let 20 percent run i've literally just closed 20 percent this morning and um, when i say 20 percent, i'm closing 80 percent, guys i close 80 percent of my first target i actually got out at 66 13 i close 80 percent here yeah and then i just let this 20 percent run down to here okay so yeah that's how i roll take profit guys take profit yeah if the markets you know take profit because you can always re-enter and you never blow an account by entering uh by taking profit guys take profit you can always get back into the trade um, so that's how I played that trade, guys. And then New Zealand US dollar. Again, there were lots of entries for this one as well. Um, but let's start with the day chart. And again, this is a bit of a um, higher time frame play. We're looking at a range here. And the idea was just come back down to the bottom of this range. And that's still the idea. Um, and then if you look now at daily structure, you know, we're clearly seeing you know, lower highs. Okay, we're getting lower highs. So that just confirms the downtrend, guys. Uh, this, will, this will be a trade idea for today to keep taking it lower. And again, it's one of those ones, the more it retraces, the better the value. I love the fact that it retraces up here. That's what I want. I want value. And then bang, look at all that value we can have all the way back down to here, potentially. If we drop down to the H1, 
Again, this was this morning because this is the uh, uh, Kiwi interest rate decision. Um, but if we take that out of the equation so we can actually see the chart, yeah, we were just waiting for a breakdown in structure, guys. Yeah. So we had this area mapped out here where price kept reacting. And we were just waiting for an eventual break. Yeah, price kind of did this. And then with this candle here, we got a break, guys. So you could have entered on this candle. Um, put your stop above the, the uh, support level, the resistance level, above the entry candle. You could move it above the moving average 20. Yeah, and then we just take price lower. And then if we come out now, guys, you can see, yeah, price comes storming down. Um, so, yeah, nothing but nice trades yesterday, guys. Yeah, it was a very profitable day. Very, very profitable. Um, so I hope you took a few of the trades. And if you did, leave, leave a message. Let me know which ones you traded. Yeah, how you traded them. Um, right, guys, those were yesterday's trades. Let's look at today's trades now. Guys, I hope you took a few of those trades from yesterday. We had a great trading day. And if you enjoyed that recap, then come join us. Yes, yeah? subscribe to the channel. Yeah, smash that notification button and smash the like button. We would love to have you guys. Um, so trades for Wednesday, the 24th of May. Before we get started, let's uh, talk about some cool things our channel does. So first of all, we've got free Discord, guys. You can join. It's nothing to join. We have trade ideas in there. We have knowledge in there. We have general chit-chat and traders sharing ideas. So why not come join our Discord community? Um, we also have VIP Discord. You do have to pay for this. But you get access to my trades throughout the trading day, exactly where I enter. Um, you also have access to me, guys, in terms of you can ask me questions throughout the trading day. Um, you also get um, exclusive content. You get access to a performance coach. Lots of cool things in the VIP Discord. Come join it. Secondly, guys, if you would like to be mentored or coached, one-on-one -on -one with myself, um, then we do a mentorship program. So if you drop us an email, we'll send you all the information about the mentorship program. Um, thirdly, guys, if you would like to show your support and appreciation for the channel, we also have YouTube membership now. So you, you there's some cool perks, um, some discounts on things, some um, exclusive content. So come join YouTube membership as well. And finally, guys, don't forget our live stream, 8 a.m. New York EST time today. All the information for all of these things are in the um, video description. I had to think then. Um, right, guys, trades for Wednesday the 24th of May. So not surprisingly, we're looking at a few, uh, a couple of New Zealand pairs, guys. And I know I've been talking about uh, New Zealand pairs for some time. And you're probably like, Tom, we've had enough. But if they're making you money, trade them. Yeah, if you get good setups, trade them. So this was no exception, guys. New Zealand dollar against the Canadian dollar. Yeah, so we are still in this downtrend. Okay. All right, we've got lower lows and we've got lower highs. We are clearly in a downtrend. Um, admittedly, the market has already moved a great number of pips already because of uh, the interest rate decision this morning. Um, but I still like this as a trade. I still think this has room to move into back to this 8300 psychological level. So that's our higher time frame target. Um, so, yeah, we're just looking to get into this short somehow. If we drop down to the H1, to be honest with you guys, let's look at the H4. Yeah, because it'll be a little bit clearer where we can get in. So we need a retrace because we need value. If I enter here, you know, where do I put my stop? Here, here, here. Yeah, we need price to tell us where we can enter. So we need a retrace, guys. First, we could retrace up to this level because obviously there's some yeah, support here. Well, there was support. It could now be resistance. If we get a bearish reaction in here, we can enter and look to take price lower. 
it might not retrace guys it might just carry on down but we need value yeah and then if it does retrace to here we can just put our stop here and then we have a good risk to reward um if that doesn't happen guys it could retrace all the way up to this gray zone okay and again we're just looking for a bearish reaction we get a bearish reaction again we can start taking it lower and again we can just put our stop above here let's say we enter here and then the risk to reward and the value is in this trade yeah this is why we need a retrace guys um so yeah new zealand dollar canadian dollar we're looking to short it from one of those levels guys if we get a retrace um, we're also looking at new zealand dollar us dollar again i still think this has a bit of room to move into if we go down to the day chart guys yeah um we can clearly see price is in a downtrend okay we're getting lower highs um yeah lower highs and now we're starting to see lower lows okay so that's confirmation of the downtrend and i still think it has room to move into to this 6150 level it could even come down to here guys yeah back down to these lows um, but yeah, looking for shorts. Again, looking at this candle has already moved a great deal because of that interest rate decision. But if we get a retrace, we can enter. And again, because this moves so large, guys, let's take a look at the H4. Okay, so yeah, what are we looking for? We're looking for price to retrace potentially just into this grey zone or around this grey zone because of this last swing low here bearish reaction we come lower or price could retrace back up into this gray zone guys where price has reacted before yeah and again we get a bearish reaction and we start to take price lower when i say bearish reaction guys i just want um a, a candle a candlestick to tell me that sellers are in control and sometimes i combine this with an m15 structure breakdown as well yeah, or, or even a H4 or H1 candle that tells me sellers are in control. And then I short it. Yeah, if I'm looking to short the market, I need to know that sellers have taken control back. All right, so yeah, uh, looking to short those guys. What else are we looking at today? Well, not just interestingly, so I'm looking for, you know, New Zealand US dollar short and New Zealand Canadian dollar short. But but what that has done on the New Zealand dollar Japanese yen, it has moved, yeah, the New Zealand dollar Japanese yen back, this is the day chart, back into a really interesting value zone. Yeah, we're clearly in an uptrend. So potentially this, guys, yeah. Um, I probably wouldn't trade it now because that news has come flying down but just want to show you how you know how uh, a big interest rate decision or cpi data can really move pairs back to areas of interest for us so this is one such pair i'm not trading it today but i just wanted to show you this so new zealand japanese yen is at a real interesting level and to be honest with you guys if we look at the h1 i'm looking for a h1 structure build up yeah, and you're not going to get that today. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we might. It might come down. It might take a couple of day. You know, a couple of days of doing this, and then we get a break up. Then we could potentially have a trade, but not today. Uh, and my so that's not a trade idea. And my final trade idea is this: is Canadian dollar against the Swiss franc. And before I show you my last trade idea, guys, if you're enjoying this analysis, would like my trade ideas every single day, then why not come join us? Yes, yeah? subscribe to the channel, smash the notification button, smash the like button, come join us. Merci beaucoup. Um, also, don't forget, yeah, like I say, guys, we've got Discord, we've got mentorship programs, we've got YouTube membership, and we've got our live streams every day as well. Um, the last one, the last trade idea for today is this, Canadian dollar Swiss franc. Okay, so um, what are we looking at? This is the day chart. So we were in a downtrend, yeah, but then price just shot back up, breaking this high. Okay, so we now got higher highs, higher lows, higher highs, potentially higher lows. 
Yeah, we've got higher lows, higher highs. Yeah, we are clearly in an uptrend. All right. I've been shorting this trade from yesterday. Okay. Um, and we still have a bit of room to move into. So we like this trade. The only thing I don't like about it is the wick, this top wick on this candle. Call me pernickety, but I don't like that top wick. Yeah. But I still think we can, we've got room back up to here. If we drop down to the H1 now, because this is my entry time frame, we're at a nice area right now to enter. Now you can see H1 structure has been building up, breaking above the moving average 20, this one here, and then it's sort of coming down and using this as support. So it's in a good value area right now to potentially start buying back up to here, guys. Okay, so yeah, we just want to follow this H1 structure, um, put your stops below the swing lows. This is the last swing low. Put your stop here and follow price back up, guys. Simple as that. So yeah, Canadian dollar, Swiss franc, we're looking to buy this pair. Um, yeah, and that's the trade ideas for today, guys. I hope you've enjoyed them. Subscribe if you have. Um, let's take a look at the let's take a look at the news now. So news for Wednesday, the 24th of May, guys. So you can see that uh, New Zealand interest rate decision happened overnight, and that's given real weakness to the New Zealand dollar. So the interest rate come out as expected. But whatever was said in the monetary statement or the press conference has led to real New Zealand dollar weakness. Okay, so yeah, be aware of that today. And as you can see, some of my trade ideas are based on the back of this weakness. Um, but that's been and gone. The first piece of news we're interested in is this at seven o'clock, London GMT coming out of the UK, we got CPI. Don't need to tell you how important CPI is. So this could be a big figure for uh, the pound pairs, guys. So must be aware of this. If we carry on down, 9 o'clock, London GMT, we've got the German Business Climate Index. This just looks at the, you know, the state of the economy um, and if people have confidence in it, really. So this could affect any euro pair. At 10.30, we've got the Bank of England governor speaking. When he speaks, he can move the pound. Um, if we carry on down, he speaks again. Doesn't stop speaking today. 2 o'clock. Yeah, Governor Bailey speaking again. Again, we'll move the pound. 3.30, we've got crude oil inventories. So as you can see, that'll affect the US dollar. It'll also affect the Canadian dollar and obviously oil. So keep an eye out for that, guys, if you're trading any of them. And then finally, guys, we've got a couple of big speakers towards the end of the day. Um, we've got uh, head of the ECB, Lagarde. She's speaking at 6.45 London GMT. She could quite easily move the euro and then we got the uh fed meeting minutes again very important guys at seven o'clock this could move any us dollar pairs all right so yeah a, quite a busy news day today uh but that's it guys i hope you've enjoyed the vid if you have please subscribe like and share i'll see you today 8 a.m new york est for our live stream get your questions ready see you then